Hi guys, it's Kenny with Ugly Tent. Over the years, I've had some messages and some comments about my poncho shelters, how I set them up and how I use them. So today on this beautiful January day, that's about 20 degrees outside, I thought I would uh, show you how to set up a few of the poncho shelters. So stick with me. So I just set up a basic ridge line between two trees. I'm using my paracord spool tool, which I really like. I guess I've had that for a while. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. We're going to, the first setup we're going to use is the plow point, wedge, or plow point, or the plow point wedge or the wedge. And this is really easy to do. All you use is the ridge line and uh, make some stakes and stake down your poncho in the shape of a diamond or a wedge. And during the winter time, this is great for uh, a, low, a low shelter that can hold in the heat. You build a fire in the front of it or towards the side of the front and the heat is retained inside. So I'll show you how to do that. I've got a, a emergency blanket here too that I'm gonna put down on the floor because it's cold, uh, icy, muddy, snowy. And that, uh, that'll help insulate. Now when you're using one of these reflective blankets, or, or tarps or emergency blanket, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to blind the camera. Use the reflective side up against your body in the winter, and in the summer, use the reflective side down on the ground. So, one of the great things about out here shooting video and training practicing is that you you uh, remember the things you've forgotten like when it's 20 degrees outside it's hard to move your mouth after a while and uh, your hands get cold because you have to take your gloves off to do a lot of stuff or I do for the camera and so forth so you, you remember hey you lose dexterity in the cold and these are things you got to keep in the back of your mind for survival anyway first things first so grab one corner of your poncho and you're going to put it right here in the middle of your ridge line. Take a bite of your paracord, your ridge line, run it through, and push it, put your toggle stick through there like that. You can slide this, you can adjust this by just merely sliding it back and forth to get it where you want it. Now, after you get this in place, Tighten your ridge line back up. Run your back end together. Run your other end down to the ground. All right, as, as you can see, I've got plenty of room. Now I can build a fire about right here, small fire, and that heat will just, that heat will just circulate inside the, the poncho. And obviously the lower you make it, the easier it is to 
contain the heat. But this is a quick, easy shelter for a poncho. Uh, I, this is one of my favorites. I like the wedge. I use it often. It gives you a lot of coverage because it's long. It is narrow, but it, you know, even if it's raining or snowing, I'm still covered. My feet are in. I'm still covered. I got a little bit of room. If I got a little fire going out here, that works even better. I'm 5'9", so obviously if you're looking to buy a poncho, you want to buy a, a, a large or an extra large or extra long poncho. The backpacker's ponchos are great. This is just a military poncho, but it works really well for me. It has for years or decades. I've had this poncho since 1989. Now I've taken good care of it and seam sealed it, spray it with Camp Dry, keep it in good shape. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with the toggles. Where are you at? Here you are. Put a piece of, a bite of the uh, paracord. Whoo, my hands are cold. There we go. Stick it up through there. Run your toggle. Through there, and you can slide it down when you need to. You can use a Persic knot on this. It does the same thing, but I don't want to waste the paracord, and I shoot this is a lot quicker, and it works the same way. Use use green wood, a piece of green limb. It's easier, it's, you know. Obviously, a, an old piece of dead wood it's gonna break easier it's not gonna slide as well but there you go there's the other side i'm just sliding in how cool is that Again, another easy shelter. Your basic lean-to. Took me five minutes to set up from the wedge. I just left the hood tied on. So even if you decided to change your sh uh, shelter setup, it's not hard to do. You know, it's easy to switch these out. Use your toggles, use your tie-off points. It's quick and easy, but very effective. This is great for summertime because you got all your wind coming through. Uh, you know, this is good for two people too. This is good for more people. It doesn't offer quite as much shelter, but you can bring it lower, put your branches on the side, and uh, you can do a lot with that. I had planned to do the alpha tent, uh, but I forgot my alpha tent poles. So I actually made some uh, tent poles for the alpha tent and I'll show you what that's like I use that in my post-apocalyptic bushcraft video but I'm gonna try to take some small sap saplings cut them and use them for the alpha tent poles so let's see how that goes stay with me now the next thing we're gonna do is I cut down two saplings they gotta be green because they gotta be flexible I gotta be able to be able to bend them now these aren't perfect because I'm doing this on the fly but I mean, if you're needing to set up a quick shelter, it's gonna work. We'll take all the branches off. And if you had time, you'd wanna shave off or, or cut off all the uh, little pokies there. That way you don't tear your poncho. But for demonstration purposes, this'll do just fine. I've sewn uh, pockets on the corners of my poncho, and this is for the post or the poles to slip into. Now I've got the poles in there really tight. This one might be too long. We're gonna find out. 
Yeah, that's too long. I'm gonna shorten that up a little bit. I get this way to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna tie those together right there. And this is gonna be right here. Perfect. Yeah. Same thing goes here. I'm gonna shorten that up just a little bit. Now, we'll tie this up. All right, we'll cinch this, this together. And that, my friends, is a semblance of an alpha shelter. How does the alpha shelter work? Very simply. Get inside. Come on. Not bad. Works pretty good. Yeah. Same thing goes for if you wanted to give some structure to your lean-to, you know it's a self it's a self-standing poncho shelter right there. You can move it around, prop it up against the tree. Can you tell my face is getting numb? Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with that. So, and that's without my tent poles that I've made. This is made on the fly with some saplings. So pretty neat. All right, so now we're down to about 18 degrees and I'm losing sunlight, so I gotta hurry up, but we're gonna do the A-frame poncho shelter. I'll put their, shoot, I'll put their ridge line low because the, the uh, maximize, maximize the poncho because you don't want a lot of draft underneath. Unless it's summertime and you want that airflow and you're just trying to protect yourself from the rain. But for this situation, we're gonna pitch a low A-frame. My ridge line right here. Loosen my ridge line. Get a bite. Run it through. There's one. There's the other. And there's the other one. All right, can you see this? And this is just to keep the ridge line centered, or keep the poncho centered on the ridge line. So run that through. There. Don't tighten it back up. Okay, nice and cozy. That's pretty easy setup. I have used this numerous times. This is one of my favorite setups. Uh, it's very comfortable, very cozy. Again, build your fire right in front to the side. Build your fire reflector, get some of that radiant heat. You don't want to close off your only exit, so make sure that you, wherever you put the fires is suitable to 
a quick escape. <coughs> to do some stealth camping or stay hidden, build your fire at the base of a tree and the smoke follows the tree up and is uh, broken up and disguised by the tree. You gotta be careful of that because you don't wanna have a fire that continues to burn uh, in the roots of the tree. You know, you don't wanna start a forest fire, but obviously in these cold conditions, put a few rocks down, a small fire right here, get it. reflect back in your shelter, and you'd be good to go for a night. You saw how quick that went up. So the idea is get your shelter Get your shelter put together, get in it, get something where you can put your gear, keep it dry. If it gets real bad, you'll have somewhere to go. And then you can stake it out better. Take a knife, cut you some stakes. So you saw I just broke some stakes for this. It's not like I spent a lot of time uh, rigging this up. Uh, the ridge line, I don't even have it tied. I don't know if you can see on the tree back here or not, but I've just got it wrapped around a couple times and then the uh, spool tool jammed in there to keep it tight. That way, when I'm done, I just untie my paracord. I don't have to cut it, I don't have to lose it. I can reuse it. I've got my space blanket in there. I can wrap up in if I need to. Uh, you know, you can tie off the hood to make it better, like I did with the wedge. There's all kinds of things you can do to improve the shelter if you're gonna stay more than one night. But if you're just staying for one night, that will suffice. That'll keep you dry, keep you somewhat warm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate your comments. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to click the, the like button. And we'll hope to see you next time.